If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. But I know it. Let me just think for a second. Sheila. Yes. It was my mother who sent you, after all. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. But my head's all messed up. So, let's have a little chat, sweetheart. Do you know how to get out of here? You're not supposed to get out. We must stay here. Do what they say. Take pills they give us. Sometimes, if I behave, they give me the red stuff. I wait for it. I'm being good. What is this red stuff? It's a drug. My favourite one. Red stuff takes the pain away. I must stay here. Good nurses have been most kind. They always remember. They know I'm suffering. But it is not the same as the drugs I see in my dreams. On the other side of the mirror, there's a spider's heart full of drugs. I just can't seem to find it anymore. I see. What exactly is this little treat you mentioned? It's the red teardrop of pure happiness. They bring it, I drink it down, and my pain goes away. Without it, I just feel so angry. It's like I'm going crazy. <laughs> it's funny, but I just get so fucking angry sometimes. I'm dying, I think. We're all dying, I heard. She said I'd go to hell for it, but I didn't do anything. I didn't know. Does he know? Who? Him! Right. Okay. No, probably not. I need the red medicine. I need it now. I must be a good girl. I must be a nice girl. Maybe I could get you some of that stuff. Do you know where they keep it? Oh, they have it hidden well. You can't get there. Or maybe you can. I see it in my dreams sometimes. It's where the nurses are. But in my dream, there are no nurses there. I see it, but I can't get it. It's so near and yet so far. I can still hear the broken heartbeat of the spider's heart. Are you all right? I'm fine. Yes, it's all fine. It's just hard to wait, you know? They said I can have it. You know, yeah? So I wait here. Don't want to miss it. That nurse promised it to me. The one with the red glasses. But I think it's been three hours already. Why are they late? Do you think something happened? Do you think she changed her mind? Because I swear if she did, I will hurt myself again. I swear to God, I will hurt myself again. I'm sure they'll be here in a minute. They're probably just very busy, that's all. How about we swap our name bands? Oh yeah, I don't mind. But that would be like a favour to you, yeah? Well, technically, you wouldn't lose anything, because I'd give you my name band instead. Does that make any sense? Sure, yeah. I do want something better in return, though. I'm not that stupid. I know you'll use it to get out of here. Oh, I never said you're stupid. I... I just really want to go home. Please understand. That's fine. I don't mind. I'll give it to you if you get me the red stuff. What do you say? I thought nurses give it to you anyway. No, not that. I'm talking about the real thing. Something you can only get in the world of dreams. Now that is something special. Is it safe? It's perfectly safe. Um, okay. I'll see what I can do. I'll 
I'll talk to you later, yeah? Yes. Go. Be careful. They're watching us. And remember, we must be nice to earn the red stuff. Always be nice. Poor woman. I've found the thing you asked me for, but are you absolutely certain it won't harm you? Don't be silly. Of course it won't. Fine. I hope you know what you're doing. Can I have your name band now, please? Yes. No matter what they say, I do keep my promises. What do they... You know what? It doesn't matter. Thank you for your help. Someone is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? The toilet's blocked. What? Ah, oh, well, that's hardly an emergency. It is when you need to use it urgently, like I do. I see. Fine, I'll sort it out. Just give me a minute. Ah, oh, it's the gloves. Again! I guess I'll have to get my hands dirty, since the cleaner's called in sick. Sorry, ma'am, can't let you through. We'll need to see a discharge letter from your doctor first. Here. Are you happy now? Yes, that seems fine. Can I just check your name band to confirm that you are indeed Anne Burton? Oh, all right. I didn't realize you knew how to read. There you go. Can I go now? Of course. Thank you, ma'am. We'll see you soon. No, you won't. Now get out of my way. And you must be Susan Ashworth. Um, well, perhaps I am. Do you mind if I ask you where you're heading to? I was just going for a little walk, stretch my legs, get some fresh air. Give it a rest. I'm not going anywhere. Miss Ashworth, please relax. There's been a mistake. You have been prescribed wrong medication. I apologize sincerely on behalf of my team and the hospital, but luckily we managed to spot it on time. On time? You have no idea what I've been through? Once again, I'm truly sorry. I promise no more drugs will be given to you. I personally guarantee you will have a good, peaceful sleep tonight. And you can be discharged in the morning. Why can't I go tonight? I want to go now. 
I'm really sorry, but we can't legally discharge suicidal patients without a full psychiatric assessment. It's too late for it now, but I promise we'll have a chat in my office first thing in the morning, okay? And then you can go home. Is that all right? I haven't really got much choice, have I? <laughs>